What's up guys? I'm Noah Valdez. I'm a New Mexico State Police Officer assigned to District 1 Santa Fe. Uh, I grew up in Albuquerque since I was about three years old. I played a lot of Little League baseball, um, played basketball a little bit, and uh, spent a lot of time outdoors hunting, fishing, things like that. During my time in high school, I didn't really feel like I would be using the skills that I learned outside of high school life, you know, but I soon realized that, especially in a law enforcement career, you're going to be using a lot of those items that you learned, all those personal skills. And one of those most important classes that I feel was English. Um, in this in this line of work, you're going to be taking a lot of reports. I know that might sound boring, but the 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 fun part is how you get the reports, right? So that's something to look forward to. When you when you're taking these reports, you know, you have to really articulate yourself and your actions and the other other individuals actions that you're taking the reports on or for. Um, you have to really be able to to use the right words, the right verbiage and what you're going to be saying. As far as the job goes, you know, one of one of my personal favorite things about this job is your the amount of freedom that you get is is unreal, right? You you can do whatever you want all day. Um, but to an extent, right, you can, uh, obviously you want to be proactive, you want to work hard and everything, but what, what I mean by freedom is you can, I don't have to be in any one spot all day. I don't have to be cooped up in an office. Uh, that's not for me. I mean, it could be for some people, but for me, I like to be out. I like to be doing things, uh, staying, staying active, you know, it helps the shift go by a little bit faster as well. So, I mean, the amount of freedom that you get in this job is just, it's, it's crazy. I mean, you can do you can do what you want. You can be where you want, and you can create your own work. You know, so that's that that's a big plus. The, the other thing that's great about this job is I never know what's going to be thrown at me any day. Uh, anything can happen at any moment, and um, you always got to be prepared for that. And you know, given given there's no calls for service, what I do on a normal day is I'll probably just patrol, uh, do some traffic enforcement. Um, on the interstates, the state roads surrounding the area. Uh, you know, you, you, you can patrol around, you can try and stop cars, or you can uh, you can just go around and, you know, show, show your presence in areas that maybe don't, don't get a lot of police presence. And especially being with state police, that's a, a lot of rural, rural areas that you can go to and uh, show yourself. Um, so certificates and things like that, that you're going to need to become a police officer. Um, you're going to need your high school diploma or a GED equivalent. Uh, that's just something that, that you have to have for almost any job nowadays. And um, one of the great things about being in a law enforcement career is e eventually most departments are going to request that you have 60 college credits or some kind of degree to uh, maintain your, your position at their agency. The good thing is if you have no college credits or anything like that, then you generally upon completion of the academy you'll get 30 college credits that you can uh i guess redeem at a accredited college so that's one way that the uh the department will be able to help you out you know they they start you off with that 30 college credits which is actually a pretty big jump uh to that 60 especially if you have no no college credits some advice that i would give to anybody who wants to become a law enforcement officer or go into some kind of law enforcement career is uh start your reputation right away uh, have a great reputation and maintain it. Um, what, what I would build your foundation of your reputation off of is hard work, uh, respect, and um, and teamwork. You know, you're going to have to be a good team player. Obviously, you're going to be working with other officers and uh, everybody. You have to be able to trust the people that you work with, especially in this uh, line of work. You're going to have to trust those individuals. So you want to uh, build a good relationship with your shift partners and be able to work together, you know, in a in a healthy environment and uh, being able to trust each other. Uh, there was just a couple other things that I wanted to point out, you know, with being a uh, law enforcement, you get uh, you get some great competitive pay rates. You get uh, great insurance, great retirement. You can get a deferred comp. If you don't know what that is, that's something I would definitely look into if you uh, if you're trying to start out in a law enforcement career. It's definitely going to help you uh, after you retire. And speaking of after retirement, you know, while you're in your law enforcement career, there's so many different avenues that you can take for self-growth uh, and just uh, expanding your knowledge. You know, you can 
join specialty teams you can take classes attend seminars uh there's so many different things that your command staff can send you to or trainings that you can attend and that's stuff that all can benefit you after your retirement uh from law enforcement so that's just some other things to look forward to uh, i appreciate you guys for watching this video and um good luck if this is the career that you choose